la a a a pro o o What's up guys, uh, Connor here from Leg Pros. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys the new, well, somewhat new, um, Skyrim mashup pack for the Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. So, um, this will be pretty similar to my um, Mass Effect mashup pack um, review. Besides the fact that, of course, the quality is going to be a slightly better um, than the last video. Um, but, Basically, this is Skyrim. Hey, fucking Skyrim. Bleak Falls Barrow. Pretty sweet, right? Yeah, I know. Um, there's a fucking cloud going through the mountain. Just like Skyrim, you know, there's always clouds going through shit. You know, why not? Why not have clouds go through shit? Okay, so, um, I'm gonna be showing you guys all the structures they built. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys the other dimensions, the mobs. I'll try to give you guys the best look at this tech, uh, mashup pack before, you know, if you want to decide to buy it or not. I personally think it's probably one of the coolest fucking things they've done um, since this game came out. So, it's definitely the coolest add-on, by far. And this, you can actually play in survival mode, too. Um, because, you know, the fucking ores, you can tell what they are and shit, um, which is nice. Uh, as you can see, uh, you know, I'll give you guys kind of a look down here. Um, this is Riverwood, you know, if you guys recognize this, recognize this path. Um, just to be festive about this, I'm gonna change my skin to Dragonborn. Cause why not, dude? I'm fucking... I'm in Skyrim, dude. No, I'm not in Minecraft anymore, what are you talking about? I'm in Skyrim. Um, yep, yeah, this is Riverwood, so I mean, it's instantly recognizable. They did a fantastic job of, like, remaking it. Personally, I, it, it's just awesome. Like, I, I love it. Like, it is really good. Now, there's a few flaws here and there. Um, if you really, you know, you notice, if you really notice shit, like I do, like, because I've played Skyrim so much, you know, you notice the little things out of place. So, I don't know whose house this was. It was just a fucking house. So. Um, but this is the blacksmith. Um, I found this weird. There's a fucking chicken in here. I don't know how it got in here, but there's, there's a fucking chicken. Um, blacksmith like I said and inside the house a hey, I like the pictures the pictures are just fucking sweet like, look at that that's so cool it's pretty clever what they did with those pictures um this is the Riverwood Trader um fucking you know there's a few inaccuracies like I said this is definitely not as big as what it really was but you know what can you do um now, the one thing that kind of pissed me off uh, was that Delphine's, if you've played Skyrim a lot, uh, you know, you beat the main quest, you know that Delphine's secret room is down here, which it is not in uh, the recreation, which kind of pissed me off. But, you know, I mean, it's, it's one thing. I mean, it wasn't that big of a fucking deal, really. I'm gonna go to sleep, so I don't have to fucking deal with them. I, actually, fuck, no, I need to show you guys mobs. Um, well, you know, I figured out. Okay. So, yeah, this is, uh, the fucking trader. There's villagers here. Uh, they kind of, I don't know, I guess this is what Skyrim villagers look like. I mean, pretty much. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much, uh, you know, Riverwood. I mean, there's obviously not much in Riverwood, so there's not much to really build. Uh, this is the sawmill. Uh, don't want to leave that out. This is the, you know, fantastic sawmill. The river. Hence the name Riverwood. Um, so yeah, you guys probably saw up here, fucking Bleak Falls Barrow, uh, pretty sweet. This was freaking awesome. It looks amazing. Look at that. That is so cool. I also think that they did add a music disc quest, um, for this map, uh, which is kind of cool, even though I never do music disc quests, but apparently they're pretty popular, so maybe I'll try to do one one of these days. Um, but yeah, this is Bleak Falls Barrow, pretty fucking sweet. Uh, you know, nice design. They did really good with the architecture. Looks pretty damn accurate. Uh, you go inside, um, obviously they're not going to build the whole fucking thing because that would just take ridiculously long. So you walk in and this is basically it. Um, I guess if you really wanted to, you could actually just, they've already given you kind of the opening. You could recreate it if you wanted to, but they didn't. They kind of just left it. Um, I'm assuming that they did this because they didn't have a shitload of time, so they decided to kind of just leave it, which is understandable. Um, so yeah, I'll, we'll go into the end of the nether after I show you guys, uh, Whiterun. So let's go to Whiterun. 
Um, and you guys probably hear the Skyrim music. Uh, you know, fucking sweet Skyrim music. Um, but, this is Whiterun. Um, obviously, it's not on a freaking cliff because, I mean, you know, it would be a pain in the ass to make. I can definitely tell you that would not be fun to make at all. Um, I wonder how many people it took to make this thing. Like, this is unbelievable. Like, we, me and my friends were going to make Whiterun. But after looking at this, we were like, yeah, it's, there's just no point now. <laughs> it's already been done. There's no point because it looks pretty much the same. So, you go into the entrance here. You know, it's pretty freaking sim similar. Um, pretty awesome. Look at this. I mean, everything. The smelter. I mean, I, I know where, like, everything is in White Runs. Like, because I've played this game so freaking much. The smelter's back here, which is just a furnace. Uh, there's, you know, the blacksmith. The fucking I forgot what this place is called. I think it's oh yeah, I think it's the Iron Maidens. I don't fucking remember what this place is called. Uh, War Maidens, War Maidens. That's that's the name of it. There we go. Um, this is actually pretty similar to what it looked like, uh, except for the upstairs. Um, Breeze Home. I'm not sure that they put. Did they put Breeze Home? Oh yeah, this is Breeze Home right here. So this is Breeze Home. Uh, no, Breeze Home does not look. Completely identical, so there's not a second floor. Um, but other than that, it's really good. They put the alchem alchemy lab, and the zombie being an asshole, knocking on the door, being a bitch, killing off all the fucking villagers. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get away from him because he's really loud. Oh shit, it's raining. Alright, well, cool. So, uh, god damn it. Uh, I'm just gonna go to sleep and then we'll look at the mobs. Like, I'll put them in the end or some shit like that. Uh, there's not even a bed in here, are you serious right now? I need a fucking bed, is there a bed anywhere? All I want is a... Oh my god, alright, alright, do I really have to make a bed? That really, wait, it has to go? Come on. I don't know why I put two beds down. So don't judge, okay. Um, so anywho, getting back to the tour. Uh, this is... What is this place? I don't remember what this place is. This is like the weird place that I never went in. Oh yeah, this is like that hunting place, I think, where they sell all that meat and shit, but I never went in there. Yeah, I think that's the place. Okay, damn it. Okay. Um, so this is like the city central. You probably recognize it. Um, the well, the stands. They've even put like item frames and stuff, which is pretty awesome. Um, so this is like, this is the Bannered Mare, somewhat similar, um, like I said, I mean, they didn't make everything completely accurate, but they still did a damn good job, in my opinion, so, um, god damn it, okay, and then, I love, like, how many mountains and stuff, like, imagine how high up they had to build, look at, the clouds are so high up, look at how fucking, like, I don't know how they did this, like, I really don't, but it's crazy. So they put the rivers, the entrance here, um, and then this is like the f dead tree, uh, and houses, and that's where that annoying Talos dude always stands. That guy was so annoying, oh my god. If you play Skyrim, you know what I mean. Um, so this is the, uh, the temple, which is pretty fucking sweet actually, they did pretty good with it. Um, yeah, that's a temple. Uh, it's Yorvaskar's over here. I almost forgot about Yorvaskar. They put all those things up. Uh, the one thing about Yorvaskar, though, uh, they did not put a basement, which is pretty lame because that's where all the shit is. Um, but, you know, on the inside, it just looks like a big fucking fire pit with poles and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, the Yorvaskar. Did they put the Underforge? I never checked if they put the Underforge. Like, they've been so... Oh, I think they did. Oh, they did! Holy shit, they put the Underforge. I never knew that. Wow, that's pretty cool. Huh. I guess there was something I didn't know. So yeah, this is, I guess they put the Underforge in, where you turn into a fucking werewolf. How do I get out of here? Okay, here we go. Um, and then this is, like, the other uh, blacksmith. Yorlin, Greymanes, or whatever, the, the fucking Skyforge, the Eagle. Eagle doesn't look the best, but what can you really do in a fucking block game with an Eagle? 
Um, uh, so that is the Skyforge. So um, then they put the pools here. This is like the Hall of the Dead, like the arcade or whatever the hell it was. It was in that temple. Um, this is the place. <laughs> or no, is this the temple? No, this isn't the temple, is it? No, this is a different place. What is this place? Okay, well, this is the place. Um, not sure what place that is. See, it's amazing because I don't know what it, some of these buildings are. Because I never ever, like, it's weird. When I play this game, I never went to this part of the city. So I don't know what anything is. Um, so let's go to the fucking meat and cheese of this expedition to the fucking dragon's reach let's do it so this is the coolest thing ever um, although I will say this is pretty inaccurate um, but it is fucking huge nonetheless um, so going in they did pretty good with the entrance I will say that it is fantastic it looks almost identical um, you go in this is where like all the tables were supposed to be like you guys ever played this game you know there, there was tables here uh, I guess there is tables but there's no chairs whatever okay so this is where the enchantment table was supposed to be so I, I don't know why they didn't put that in um, creeper just chilling out apparently dragon's reach had creepers in it um, or I think that's a dwarven sphere I'm not sure uh, and then this is the courtyard or whatever um, so this was actually really cool because this is pretty sweet, like, this is accurate, this is where you trapped the dragon at, you fucking caught him, and, uh, yeah, so, overlooks this whole area, pretty freaking crazy, um, yeah, that's the, um, courtyard, so, if we keep going along, uh, I think over here was, like, supposed to be a kitchen, but there's not much, just a big ass empty room, and yeah, they didn't put the basement in, I mean, they fucking, a lot of the stuff they didn't put in, um, but yeah, I mean, nonetheless, it looks pretty good. I think they did a fantastic job with the Smash Up Pack, as far as the structures go. Um, there is a couple other ones, the smaller ones, and I'll go ahead and just, may as well show you guys those. There's not much to them. I don't know why there's just a random NPC village there. Don't worry about that. Um, but there's the Western Watchtower, which is, um, pretty sweet. So this is, like, where you fight your first dragon. Um, you know, it's pretty accurate, it looks pretty good. Uh, you know, you got the big-ass tower that you, you know, used to kill a dragon. Like I said, there's music discs hidden around the map. These are music discs, they're like loot, they look like a loot. Um, so, going down. The blocks look pretty good, um, pretty fantastic. So, yeah, I mean, that's, a. Uh, all the structures as far as I'm concerned I'm not sure I don't think that there's any other structures um, besides this giants like you, this is like the giants village right here that's all this is um, I'm assuming there would be a chest here actually if you're in the music disc quest but I don't see one so I would imagine that there's a chest here somewhere which you're not gonna look right now so yeah this is like their big ass fire pit um, but anywho, so let's head back and go look at some mobs, and I'll go ahead and look, show you guys like all the, well, I'll show you guys like all the cool stuff, I guess, the blocks, the cool blocks and stuff like that. Um, so here's all the portals. So the music discs are just loots and stuff. Uh, you know, this is all the stuff, the beds, of, you know, Skyrim, -y. chests, pretty sweet, they're just, they look like you know, loot chests from Skyrim. Um, you know, bunch of random shit. Uh, books, you know. What's really cool is the iron bars, they made them look like Dwarven, kind of. Which is pretty freaking sweet. They added, like, I don't know if that's, if they're, it's called Dwarven or if it's, um, what's it? Dwemer. Dwemer. Dwemer is what I'm, the word I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, it's really cool, because, I mean, look at that. That's awesome. You know, you can build some really cool Skyrim stuff. Um, with this, you know, pack. Um, but this is all the blocks. I'll kind of just go through all this stuff. Give you guys a chance to look. So that's all the blocks. Kind of just scroll through here. The ores you can recognize. Um, see, it looks pretty sweet. 
glowstone. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool stuff, though. Not gonna lie. The only ore that looks weird is the lapis ore. That's it. All the rest look normal. I don't know why lapis looks different, but I'm not gonna ask questions. Okay, so this is all the other blocks here. Um, web looks like kind of icicles, so if you want to build like an icicle thing. Glass looks pretty cool. It's like a, you know, weird castle-y thing. Um, so there you go. Windows, pretty sweet. Um, mushrooms, you got pictures. Pictures are sweet. You've seen some of those. I'll let you guys explore that. Mine carts, ladders are fucked up. Um, pistons, now it was really cool what they did with pistons, because you know that there's pistons in Skyrim, like the Dwemer ones. They used like the Minecraft pistons, they just gave them a Skyrim thing, which is pretty awesome. So, you build like Dwemer traps, if you build like Dwemer ruins and stuff like that. Um, so this is like all the ores, ingots, uh, or not really ores, but diamonds look pretty cool. Dyes and sticks look like staffs and stuff, it's weird. Um, this is all the food. They made, they made, uh, fucking cakes look like sweet rolls. Um, melons look like gourds. Boiled cream cheese, treats look like cookies. I mean, it's pretty awesome. Now this is the coolest thing ever. The armor is awesome. Like the armor in this game is just kick ass. Look at that. Um, they did not put every single armor in. Um, the best armor, ironically, diamond armor, is actually glass armor, which I thought was going to be Daedric, but I guess not. I guess glass looks a lot more like diamond, anyways. Um, so Daedric is not the best in survival. Uh, glasses, so, you know. Yeah, it's uh, glass armor. I'm wearing like two layers of armor. Dragonborn dude. So, you know, the swords, the Daedric weapons, pickaxes, you know, it looks pretty sweet. Uh, so, yeah, that's all the, you know, good stuff, and it is raining a fucking again. It rains like every other day in this game. Um, let's see here. We got potions, you know, they look like you know, Skyrim potions, I guess, in a way. Um, yeah, that's everything, basically. The skins, uh, they added, like, characters from, you know, all these different characters. Uh, they added a bunch of different races in Skyrim. You know, they added characters and races, basically. So, like, Flame Atronox, Dragon Priest, um, you know, all this. Dra uh, Draugr, Death Lord, Shio. Gorath, that crazy dude. Uh, Dwarven Central. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, Vilkas. I mean, they had some pretty sweet things, which is awesome. So, what I'll go ahead and do is actually, since it's night, I'll go ahead and show you guys the mobs and what they look like. Uh, hopefully, you guys, you guys can see. So, this guy, I think it's a, it's a creeper. Um, I think it's supposed to be a Dwarven Sphere, is what it's supposed to look like. I'm not positive. Um, so there you go, it's a creeper. Uh, this is the skeleton, just a typical skeleton that you find in Skyrim. Uh, they didn't really have to change much, because, I mean, they already had kind of skeleton archers in Skyrim, so. This is a spider. Now, I think it's a mud crab. Um, which is <laughs> fucking, it made, yeah, I cracked up so much when I saw this for the first time. It's so disproportionate, like, look at his fucking arms, like, they're tiny and they're, like, 2D. I don't even know. Looks messed up. So that's a spider. Zombies are like droggers. Um, it's basically a zombie, not too interesting. Slimes, I don't know what the hell these are supposed to be. They're like giant eyes or some shit. That's a slime. Ghasts are the weird ass Daedric things. Like, I don't remember what the dude's. I think it's like Herminus Mora or some shit. Like that Daedric dude. I think that's what ghasts are supposed to look like. Zombie Pigman, you know, it's fucking Daedra sword. Why not? Which is pretty cool. Enderman. I don't know what the hell an Enderman is, to be completely honest. Like, this thing. I don't even know. I think they just made it up because they didn't know what else to go with, so they just kind of went with it. Cave spiders look like, I guess, frostbit spiders is what they were going for. Not positive on that. Um, but, yeah, that's the, cave, that's the fucking cave spider. Um... So yeah, that's all the first ones.
So let's go on to the next one. So this is Silverfish, Blaze, uh, Magma Cube. Fucking. Then we'll get to the animals after this. Silverfish look weird. I don't know what the fuck they are. They're just little worm things, I guess. Uh, Blazes. Honestly, I have no clue what that is. Like, I really don't. I don't know what a lot of this shit is. To be completely honest, Magma Cube. Like I said, I think they just made up a lot of this stuff. Um, so animals. Oh, perfect amount. So you've already seen a villager. This is a pig. Because that's what pigs would look like if they were in Skyrim. Um, fucking sheep. I should just be like goats, I guess. Cow. You know, brown cows. You know, cow. Uh, chickens are like brown. Squid. I don't know what a squid. I think this is supposed to be a netch. Not sure. Um, wolf, you know, typical Skyrim wolf, trying to kill a sheep. Uh, mushroom, a weird, I don't even know what they were going for on this one. This one's just a, looks like it has a fucking, looks like it has AIDS or some shit like for cows. I don't even know. Um, so it's a cat. I mean, I guess, you know, it's a cat. I mean, I don't know, I guess there weren't really any cats in uh, Skyrim besides saber cats. And that's a villager, which you've already seen. So that's all the mobs. Let's go explore the dimensions, and then this video will be over. God, I hate how loud the damn portals are. So, uh, the soundtracks still change um, when you go to the nether. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, the music changes, um, to badass fighting music that, you know, is in Skyrim. So this is like a nether fort. They look a bit more scary than they did with... The nether in general looks a lot more scary than the normal, to be honest. Um, because all the fucking netheracks... Oh shit, I know what this netherrack is, I just figured it out. It's like the papers when you go to the other dimension. In Dragonborn DLC, if you guys ever played it. I sound like such a nerd, I'm such a nerd. Um, yeah, whatever. So, this is, a uh, nether fort, you know what I'm saying, fucking typical nether fort, doesn't look much different besides the blocks, um, already showing you everything else, lava, you know, there's a lot more fog, I think, but, you know, so that's, uh, you know, it's basically the nether, this is soul sand, really weird looking shit, don't know what the hell that's supposed to be, alright, so let's go to the end, uh, Fuck, where, did it, where was the damn portal? I think it was somewhere up here. Right? Was it somewhere up here? I thought it was, damn it. Did I lose the portal? Oh, no. Okay. So, yeah, that's the nether. Very scary. Uh, fun to go to in survival. Shit. That damn portal. Okay. So, the cow apparently wants to go to the end with me and help me to slay the end dragon. Sorry, bro, you don't have any armor and you're a fucking cow, so I'm gonna leave you. So, this is the uh, end. The most badass song in Skyrim starts playing when you go to the end dragon. Um, my personal preference. So yeah, this is the end. You know, when you start fighting dragons, the song starts playing, and you're like, yeah, I can win, and you're like, oh my god, oh, I'm gonna fucking chew you! Ah, 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 come here, ah! So, yeah, that's, you know... Oh my god, that dragon is a lot of good fuckers. So, um... Yeah, this is the end. Dragon is supposed to be, of course, Alduin, because who else would it be? Um, so yeah, it's Alduin, I guess. Alduin, you know, I guess that's what he looked like. I don't remember, it's been a while since I played the main quest. Um, he's shooting me with fireballs. Fuck you, Alduin, bitch. That's right. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, you know, uh, Skyrim mashup pack. So, you know, it's pretty much it. So, you know, thanks guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, hope I helped you guys decide if you want this or not, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!